The market is a jungle, folks. It's a wild, untamed beast. We've seen titans rise and fall, fortunes made and lost. Think back to the crashes, the bubbles, the meltdowns. Remember the Nifty 50? Once invincible, then decimated. History teaches us nothing lasts forever, except perhaps for the cycle itself. Just when we think the old rules are gone, they rear their heads again. We're in a new era, sure, but the fundamentals, those never change. The ghosts of financial giants still loom large. We talk about Graham Dodd and, of course, the oracle of Omaha himself, Warren Buffett. These legends shaped our understanding of value investing, long-term gains, and the power of patience. But let's be real, the world has changed. Globalization technology, lightning fast information flow, it's a whole new ball game. The old guard, they played by a different set of rules. They had time on their side. Today, investors crave speed. They want results and they want them now. This brings us to a critical juncture, a crossroads in the financial landscape. The old ways are fading, but what will replace them? Enter a new breed of investor, one who understands the rhythm of this modern market, one who embraces volatility, not fears it. This is not a time for the faint of heart. This is a time for bold action, calculated risks, and a willingness to adapt. The old playbook, toss it out the window. The new era demands a new approach. Buckle up, because we're about to dive into the world of Tang Weijin. He's not just playing the game, he's rewriting the rules. We're living in a world that Buffett wouldn't even recognize. The ground is shifting beneath our feet. Remember 2008, the housing crash, the global financial meltdown? That was a wake-up call. It exposed the cracks in the system, the fragility of our institutions. We're still feeling the aftershocks. Out of the ashes, new challenges emerged. Algorithmic trading, high-frequency trading. These machines are calling the shots now. They operate at warp speed, leaving human investors in the dust. It's a technological arms race and not everyone is equipped to compete. Then there's the geopolitical landscape. Trade wars, political instability, pandemics, it's a recipe for uncertainty. The old rules of investing, they don't account for a world on the brink. We need a new roadmap, a new set of tools to navigate this treacherous terrain. This is where Tang Weizhen enters the picture. He's not intimidated by the chaos. In fact, he thrives on it. Weizhen represents a new breed of investor, one who understands that volatility is the new normal. He's not afraid to challenge the status quo, to question the conventional wisdom. While others cling to outdated strategies, Weizhen is writing his own playbook. He's not looking for the next Apple or Amazon. He's not trying to pick winners and losers in the stock market casino. Weijin is playing a different game altogether. He's focused on consistency, on generating steady returns week after week, month after month. And he's doing it in a way that's turning heads. Tang Weijin didn't emerge from Wall Street's hallowed halls. He wasn't groomed at an Ivy League institution. He's a self-made man, a product of hard work, relentless study, and an unyielding belief in his own vision. His story is one of resilience of overcoming adversity to achieve extraordinary success. Weizen's journey began with a thirst for knowledge. He devoured every book, every article, every scrap of information he could find about finance and investing. He understood that knowledge was power and he was determined to master the markets. But Weizen's education went beyond textbooks and theories. He learned from his own experiences, from his own mistakes. He tasted failure, felt the sting of losses and emerged stronger more determined than ever. This is a man who understands risk, who has stared into the abyss and refused to blink. Weizen's rise was not meteoric. There were no overnight successes, no lucky breaks. He built his empire brick by brick, trade by trade, with meticulous precision and unwavering discipline. He didn't follow the herd, he charted his own course, trusting his instincts and his own unique approach. And what is that approach? It's a blend of traditional wisdom and cutting edge strategy. It's about managing risk, preserving capital, and generating consistent returns in all market conditions. Weijin isn't looking for home runs. He's content with hitting singles and doubles, week after week, month after month. And guess what? Those small wins add up to big results. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Warren Buffett, the oracle, the legend. Weijin's philosophy might seem like heresy to the Buffett disciples. Buffett preaches patience, long-term value investing, finding those undervalued gems and holding on for dear life. He's like the tortoise, slow and steady, winning the race. 
Vision, he's more like a nimble fox darting in and out of trades, capitalizing on market inefficiencies. He's not married to any single asset class or investment strategy. He's adaptable, always evolving, always searching for new edges. Buffett's world is built on fundamental analysis. He pours over balance sheets, income statements, and cash flow reports. He's looking for companies with strong moats, solid management, and a clear path to future growth. Vision, on the other hand, embraces both fundamental and technical analysis. He understands that in today's market, sentiment and momentum can be just as important as underlying fundamentals. He's looking for trends, patterns, and signals that others might miss. This isn't to say that Vision disregards value altogether. He simply recognizes that value can be fleeting, especially in today's fast-paced environment. He's not afraid to take profits when they're on the table, even if it means selling a good company. Remember folks, profits are never a bad thing. Section 5. Mastering the Markets, Indices, Options and Forex. So how does Weijin actually put his money to work? Buckle up, because this is where it gets really interesting. He's not just buying and holding stocks like your grandpa used to. Weijin is a master of diversification, spreading his bets across a wide range of asset classes. First up, indices. Weijin understands that broad market exposure is crucial. He's not trying to time the market perfectly. He's content to ride the waves, capturing the upward trend over the long term. Think S&P 500, NASDAQ, even international indices, but he doesn't stop there. Options trading is where Weijin really starts to flex his muscles. Options give him leverage, the ability to control large positions with a relatively small amount of capital. Now, I know what you're thinking. Options are risky. And you're right, they can be. But in the hands of a skilled trader like Weijin, options become surgical tools, allowing him to fine-tune his risk and maximize his returns. And then there's Forex, the wild west of the financial world. Currencies fluctuate constantly, creating opportunities for savvy traders to profit from the swings. Weijin uses his deep understanding of global macroeconomics and geopolitical events to anticipate these movements and capitalize on the volatility. Think of it like this. Weijin is a conductor orchestrating a symphony of trades across multiple markets. He's not afraid to adjust his positions to take profits or cut losses depending on the ever-changing market conditions. Section 6. Thinking like a banker, the key to consistent returns. Here's the secret source, folks. The key to Weijin's success isn't some fancy algorithm or secret trading system, it's his mindset. Weijin approaches investing like a banker. He thinks in terms of risk and reward, probability and statistics. He's not driven by greed or fear, but by a cold, calculated assessment of the facts. Bankers understand that not every loan will be repaid. They factor in a certain percentage of defaults. They manage their risk by diversifying their loan portfolio and charging interest rates that compensate them for the risk they're taking. Weijin applies the same principles to his investments. He knows that not every trade will be a winner. He accepts losses as part of the game, but by carefully managing his risk and focusing on the long-term probabilities, he ensures that his winners far outweigh his losers. This banker's mindset allows Weijin to stay disciplined, to stick to his trading plan even when the market is throwing a tantrum. He doesn't get caught up in the hype or the fear. He tunes out the noise and focuses on what matters, making consistent, profitable trades. And here's the thing about consistency. It breeds confidence. When you know you have a system that works, when you trust your process, you're less likely to make emotional decisions. You're able to weather the storms and come out stronger on the other side. Uh, section seven, the 1% solution, sustainable growth or a statistical anomaly? Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, the claim that's making waves and raising eyebrows. 1% weekly returns. Can Weijin really achieve this level of consistent profitability? Skeptics will scoff. They'll point to historical market data, to the inherent volatility of financial markets. They'll say it's impossible to defy the laws of gravity, that what goes up must come down. And you know what? They might be right. Sustaining a 1% weekly return over the long term is extremely difficult, even for the most skilled investors. It requires a near-perfect combination of market conditions, trading prowess, and a healthy dose of luck. But here's the thing about outliers. 
They challenge our assumptions. They force us to question what we think we know. Vezin's track record, while still relatively short, is undeniable. He's producing results that most investors can only dream of. Now, it's important to note that past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. The market is a fickle beast, and even the best traders experience drawdowns and periods of underperformance. The question isn't whether Vision can maintain this pace forever. The real question is, can he continue to generate market-beating returns over the long term? And based on his track record, his methodology and his unwavering discipline, I wouldn't bet against him. Section 8. Doubters and Disbelievers. Addressing the Skepticism. Of course, with any success story comes skepticism. People are quick to dismiss what they don't understand. They'll cry foul, whisper about insider information or chalk it up to pure luck. Some will claim that Weijin's success is simply a product of a bull market that anyone can make money when the tide is rising. But what about the inevitable bear markets, the corrections, the crashes? Will Weijin's strategies hold up when the music stops? Others will point to the lack of transparency surrounding his methods. They'll demand to see his trades, his track record, his every move. They'll accuse him of being secretive, of hiding something. To the skeptics I say this, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence and Weijin is providing that evidence week after week, month after month. He's building a track record that speaks for itself. As for transparency, there's a fine line between sharing your knowledge and giving away the farm. Weijin has been generous in sharing his insights and principles, but he's also a businessman. He understands the value of his intellectual property. The best way to silence the doubters is through results and Weijin is letting his performance do the talking. He's not interested in engaging in petty arguments or defending his methods to those who refuse to see. He's too busy building his empire one profitable trade at a time. Section 9. A legacy of success inspiring the next generation of investors. Weijin's impact extends far beyond his own portfolio. He's not just making money, he's changing the game. He's inspiring a new generation of investors, showing them that there's more than one way to win in the market. He's a mentor, a teacher, a guiding light for those who are hungry for knowledge and eager to challenge the status quo. He's creating a community of like-minded individuals who are committed to excellence and driven by a desire to achieve financial freedom. Vision's story is a testament to the power of hard work, dedication, and an unwavering belief in oneself. He's living proof that anyone, regardless of their background or education, can achieve extraordinary success in the financial markets. His legacy will be measured not just by his own wealth, but by the success of those he inspires. He's creating a ripple effect that's being felt around the world, empowering individuals to take control of their financial destinies. Section 10. The future is bright. Weijin's enduring impact on global finance. As we look ahead, one thing is clear. Tang Weijin is a force to be reckoned with. He's not just riding the wave, he's creating it. His innovative strategies, his unwavering discipline and his commitment to excellence are setting a new standard for investors around the world. The financial landscape is evolving at an unprecedented pace. The old rules are being rewritten, and those who cling to outdated methods will be left behind. But Weijin is at the forefront of this revolution, embracing change and adapting to the new realities of the market. His impact will be felt for generations to come. He's not just building a fortune, he's building a legacy. A legacy of innovation, of disruption, and of unwavering commitment to empowering individuals to achieve financial freedom. So buckle up, folks, because the ride is just beginning. Tang Weijin is here to stay and he's just getting started.